uh, it's hard to see numbers when every, all the economy is, is going down. So how can you see a number with something which is really young? It's like a, an internal startup. And like any startup, uh, you need to uh, to be like to see it as as it is. And in many cases, when you build something which is so young, you're saying, uh, "Oh, I see. All is uh, has a question, and we're going to address him right in, in a few minutes." And um, and in many cases, when when you have something so young, how can you measure it in in parallel to a very your core business, which is like many 20 years old, how can you measure what this is doing and this is doing? Like your young uh, innovation projects are still young and they could go really well, but they cannot really compare in the beginning to what you have in your core, right? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Sense. Yeah, really it does. And I think that the greater the uncertainty is, the, the more you need to, to shift this mindset of wanting to measure uh, outcome and and really focus on measuring the the progress in, instead. And yeah. the, what what at least I would recommend is really trying to define the the critical uncertainties within this project, and and based on that define your hypothesis. And then you can start thinking about how you actually then want to uh, experiment uh, experiment or evaluate that. And then you can start to select the metrics. So it's again uh, taking things in the right direction. Right. And I'm going to show you what Ule said that this is a good point to measure progress when levels of uncertainty are high. We like to talk about KAI, Key Achievement Indicator, versus KPI until uncertainties are reduced. Thanks, Ule, for, for your comment. Yeah, it really yeah. makes sense. It, it really, really does. And it, 